How can we make a difference and address social issues that affect our communities? Issues like homelessness, child abuse, mental health, childhood obesity, incarceration, or teenage pregnancy? How can we address these types of issues more effectively? Well, community psychology has the tools to address these problems and more. With a strong emphasis on social justice, community psychology uses action-oriented research to guide community programs and public policies that promote well-being of individuals and families. Community psychology focuses on individual social circumstances, including family, peers, organizations, communities, and societies, in order to prevent problems rather than waiting for problems to occur. For example, rather than provide direct mental health treatment to clients, community psychologists are more likely to work to improve the mental health system. A team of community psychology faculty and students at UNC Charlotte have evaluated the local system of care which emphasizes community-based treatment and supportive services for youth with severe emotional and behavioral challenges and their families. The program was designed to build on the strengths of the children and families and use community resources and supports to meet the needs of the entire family, using strategies that reflect the family's cultures. The team evaluated both the process, how the program implemented these principles, and the outcomes the impact on the children and families, and use the results to help improve how the system of care served families. Community psychologists help people who struggle with disabilities, poverty, or other disadvantages to have a voice in society so they can meet their needs and thrive. UNC Charlotte's community psychology research team works with youth who have mental health challenges, using photography to help them communicate their personal experiences and stories. This process, called Photo Voice, empowers youth by helping them have a voice that informs the mental health system about how to meet their needs. Additionally, the team annually evaluates other programs offered by the Parent Voice Organization that sponsors the youth activities and provides support for families who have youth with mental health challenges. Supporting Parent Voice helps empower families to advocate for services and supports that can meet their needs. While society often focuses on the problems and challenges facing people with disadvantages, community psychologists emphasize the strengths and assets of people and communities when working to affect community change. For example, the UNC Charlotte team was asked to evaluate a program for residents of public housing. The program was designed to help residents develop plans that would use their family's strengths and community assets in order to meet their needs and move out of public housing. Implementation and evaluation of these types of programs can inform public policies aimed to help people move out of poverty. Families who come in contact with Child Protective Services need support to help them ensure that their children are healthy and safe. UNC Charlotte's team has helped a program using family partners who are trained parents with prior experience in the child welfare system to document their supportive work with families. The team then helped evaluate the impact of the family partners on reducing the likelihood that children in these families enter into state custody and provided feedback about how the program could better support families. In this way, the team worked to prevent harm and promote the safety of children, which are fundamental human rights emphasized in community psychology. Community psychologists also work with schools to help them address the needs of children and their families so the children can be successful. UNC Charlotte's team partnered with a public school whose families have many needs to plan, implement, and evaluate a program that addresses the multiple needs of the students and their families. By strengthening families, the program is hoping to improve children's academic performance and well-being. Many community groups are being brought together to support the families, and the evaluation efforts are helping ensure that the different groups are working together in a coordinated way.
In sum, community psychologists use scientific methods to study programs, systems, and social issues that affect individual well-being. They work in many different settings, including universities, government agencies, nonprofit community organizations, and private consulting firms. They promote social action by mobilizing groups and evaluating strategies that promote well-being and social justice. Learn more about community psychology and discover how you can make a difference.